everyone welcome to my channel my name is Donna Lee and in this video I am going to be doing the Zoe crochet braids the brand is model model and I'm only using nothing but these crochet braids um, in the event you are someone who doesn't know how to separate the hair the correct way one method you could do is you could easily undo the hair by taking out an individual braid and just undo it yourself and if you you're not sure how to do the ends like this this is this alternative way where the hair is already pre-measured out for you you just have to put it in this is all you need some jam crochet needles, a brush, some combs, and some clips, or a scrunchie, just to get started. Step number one, we're going to start on freshly wash hair, and we're going to start by braiding. Next step, just a this is the braided pattern that I use for the back. As you see, I braid a straight line across the front. These are the braids that we already start, I already start put it in. Now, I wanna show you how I install the braids in the front. When you part a section of the hair, you have to use jam to make sure everything is smooth and in. Then the same hair that you took out already has a knot, like the crochet loop. You're gonna use that as your anchor to put it around that section that you already part. See how it fits perfectly? Then you're gonna twist it around Grab your actual hair on the knees. You want to take some of the crochet hair that you see here and put it as well on the knee. You're going to have a little piece out. And then you're going to grab the other one on the other side around and through. And then you want to follow through with the same method. Around and through. Now once the front of the hair is actually braided down neatly, the zigzag pattern in the back is supposed to create the illusion that you have multiple braids in your hair. So you're going to put like a crochet braids right here and then one actually on top of the braid. Also is a way for you to fill in any empty gaps that you have in between the parts. So instead of you having a straight part that comes from the middle straight down, and then it just split open and everybody could see that it's crochet braids. You want it to look like you have a full head of regular braids in your hair, which is why these create the illusion 
perfect pattern to fool the unseen. And this is the finished product. All the ends are curled. And you cannot tell where her braids start and end in the back. As you can see. In the front, same way. Everything flows accordingly. Front of the hair. And mind you, I never had to dip the hair. The ends went right back to the way they were, even in the front. So, like, comment, share, subscribe if you like this video. If you have any questions, leave it down below. And hey, hit that like button. It don't cost you a thing. Thank you for watching. Bye.